Now let's take a look at how wave theory and the photon theory would predict the outcome of the photoelectric effect experiment. If light is a wave, higher intensity incoming light means larger amplitude, more energy. That means more electrons can absorb the energy from the light, therefore more electrons will be ejected. And uh, each electron can get more energy, therefore they will get more maximum kinetic energy. Frequency would not affect the outcome. It's the intensity that's important. So the frequency is not going to affect the maximum kinetic energy of the electrons either. But if light were made of photons, that means if there is a current, then higher intensity means more photons are coming in. Therefore, more electrons can catch photons and get freed to produce more current. But for each photon, it only provides HF that much energy. When there's more photon coming in, means more electrons can catch photon, but one electron can only catch one single photon. Therefore, it does not affect the amount of energy one electron can get. Therefore, the maximum kinetic energy is unaffected when the intensity increases. The maximum kinetic energy equals to HF minus the work function. So the maximum kinetic energy would depend on the frequency and the, the sample material's work function. The higher the frequency light coming in, the higher the maximum kinetic energy. And, the, and if the frequency of the incident light has a frequency that is lower than the cutoff frequency, that means it, the photon does not have enough energy to overcome the work function. Therefore, no electrons will be ejected. If the frequency of the incident light is lower than the cutoff frequency, that means the HF, the energy from one single photon, is not enough to overcome the work function. No electrons will be able to be freed. Therefore, no matter how great the intensity is, no matter how many photons come in, there is still no electric current. Because with the photon theory, one electron can only catch one photon. So if that one photon doesn't have enough energy, that's it. No electron ejected. And Robert Millikan's experimental result showed that the wave theory predictions failed. And the photon theory prediction successfully predicted the experimental results.